अरे मेरे गोल बताओ ना So we have tried all flagship smartphone cameras like iPhone 13, Pixel 6, Samsung S22 Ultra. Every time the companies promise, they have made the best camera ever. So today we'll be putting that claim to test and we'll try the latest smartphone flagship camera, Samsung S22 Ultra, against the Sony A7 III. But there's a small twist. So we are here at the Mandarin Beach, which is a beautiful and silent beach in Goa, and we both can take any number of photos that we want, and we'll select only three photos at the end. Unedited, not photoshopped, can't do anything, and you can use anything as a prop. And at the final, someone else will judge the photo. Well tried, Mina. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a fair, unbiased winner. So Mina will be using the Sony A7 III plus Sigma 24 to 75. F 2.8 lens, which costs somewhere around 2 lakh to 2.5 lakh, and I'll be using the Samsung S22 Ultra. But the twist here is, Minal doesn't know how to use a mirrorless camera. I'm touching a DSLR after five years, so I know nothing about a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. So I'm as noob as anyone can get. And in my case. I'm pretty good with DSLR and mirrorless cameras, but I have the S22 Ultra. So who do I think will win? I think even though I did a very good job with the DSLR, <laughs> I know Mrinal doesn't know how to use a camera. I would be surprised if he clicks all the photos in auto mode. Okay, so first thing first, one thing that I figure out is there's no way I can use it manually. So the first thing that I'm going to ask Manu is how to switch to the auto mode. Can you tell me? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I was uh, like for a while I was wondering this A is in auto mode, not the auto which is already written. But yeah, still, yes. it's a Sony A7 III, which is a really good camera. It's not about the equipments, but how you make use of whatever you have. So who will win? So this is like the classic pro versus noob, but noob with a DSLR and pro with a smartphone camera. So the first challenge is we have to take a photo of Manu, which is our model. So we'll be taking human portrait photos, and we are all the way here. Here in Goa on the beach to shoot this video, and both of us will get 10 minutes exact. So, like Minal goes first, I'll go after him, and the time starts now. It's nice that you are trying. Three, two, one. करते रहो. Three, two, one. He has the Sigma 24 to 75 mm lens, so he can take like multiple focal length photos, and portrait photos turn out to be really good on a DSLR, like no matter what. Three, two, one. Ha, three, two, one. ठीक है, ये हो गया. So did you count the number of photos you took? I think I took a lot of them, but most of them are repetitive. But I think I did a good job. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So my time starts now, and I have same Manu. So let's go. एक मेरे को थोड़ा three x पे ले लेता हूँ, because just So funny thing, I thought Minal will have a slight advantage because he is using a lens which can change focal length, and I didn't think the S22 Ultra's 3x, 10x cameras would be that useful. <laughs> But since we are shooting in daylight, I'm actually using the 3x telephoto lens quite a lot, and photos actually turn out to be good and sharp. Three, two, one, go. Ha ha, perfect. I think I think I got my shot. I think I got my shot. So the next challenge is food, and Manu is going to order some food, and both me and Minal will take the same photos, same situation. So Manu is going to judge our photos, who's our cinematographer, sometimes editor, and he's been a professional photographer before. So yeah, Manu will judge our photos. And so why did you choose this photo? Huh. The reason I picked this is because this has mm. a very clear demarcation from the subject to the background. Mm. The subject is clear, focused, and the blur is very natural. And I like the smile Manu has. So mm. the whole intention of my second photo is Manu looks cool in this, and even you can see the beach in the background. There's a pole. Overall, the vibe of the photo is more beachy, vacation, or something like that. And amazingly, I didn't expect this, and it happened in like every photo. The blur is pretty good. Blur is. Actually, mind-boggling. Like yeah, for a smartphone, it's pretty. Cool. But damn, like every single hair strand it has pulled out beautifully. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I thought that it was not a portrait photo, but then I had to check the background to make sure it is a portrait photo. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. So yeah, the Samsung AI is doing a really good work. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I think right one looks better, even though the left one is taken by DSLR, but it looks like generic photo or something. And the right one, right one giving is giving more. 
वाइफ बीच वाइफ ओवरऑल आई लुक बेटर इन द राइट फोटो ऑफकोर्स पोर्ट्रेट का मतलब यही है ना कि ओवरऑल फोटो या मैं अच्छा दिखू मतलब मेन कैरेक्टर अच्छा दिखे सो वाई डू पिक दिस फोटो इवन द स्मार्टफोन इज पटी गुड इफ यू सी आई कैन सी दॉटर ड्रॉपलेट एंड इट्स कैप्चर्ड क्वाइट वेल बट इफ आई हैव टू रेड आई वुड रेड द स्मार्टफोन कैमरा बेटर ऑल दो एम नॉट अ जज बट आई आई थिंक स्मार्टफोन कैमरा इज बेटर बिकॉज इफ यू जूम यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ वॉटर ड्रॉपलेट्स राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एक्चुअली विच इज नॉट इवन कैप्चर्ड इन द स्मार्ट इन द डी एस लवर आई like the smartphone one for this one for sure okay. surprisingly even i like the smartphone one good job so this one is more interesting and creative i like both the pictures but as usual uh, left one generic photo but it looks good uh, well tried by minal <laughs> well tried minal <laughs> yeah. and the right one looks more interesting more joyful basically it's capture my emotion exactly what i felt at that time so this okay. is the third photo where manu is jumping and here he is lying on the beach like okay in this one i have to clearly say that dsl is doing far better job <laughs> why did you pick this picture it is because it looks pretty good like i said the foreground background there is a clear demarcation manu is happy like always when i zoom in like this hmm. and even more the blur is quite good and even the details are captured very well manu i like this photo because i actually wanted one silhouette in the entire photo category so what's the silhouette so i picked this one silhouette is basically your subject is dark like pitch black and the background is white like bright mm -hmm. i like the right one silhouette photo because left one is there is no separation between the background and me but the overall photo is fine so let's come to food photography it's clearly visible left one is taken by dslr and right one is taken by smartphone uh, because the left one has more sharpness more clarity although the perspective of right photo is very good but left image looks more better sharper and overall good so here i have to clearly say i think your photo is far better because of the Best. color and i think it's sharper for this dslr is clearly better the field of vision is better the subject and focus looks good one mistake in this photo is that i didn't clean the glass but you did clean the glass so beauty is in the eye of beholder yeah there is a fingerprint on my glass because people jab bhi food photography karte hain to wo काफी जो डिशेज वगैरह वो बहुत क्लीन रखते हैं ताकि फोटो काफी अच्छे से आए बट ओवरऑल द शार्पनेस लुक्स एंड डिटेलिंग बोथ ऑफ लुक्स लाइक सिमिलर फोटो बट आई चूज लेफ्ट वन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन वन मोर थिंग इज सिंस दी एस ट्वेंटी टू अल्ट्रा इज वॉटर प्रूफ आई कैन एक्चुअली टेक अंडर वॉटर फोटोज एंड यू वुड इन टेक अ डी एस एल आर और कैमरा नियर to the water because of course so this manu photo is really good and i think it's only possible to take it either on a gopro or a smartphone camera so that is also there now listen carefully this test is not scientific and we did this experiment just to show you like what difference does it make when you don't know photography or videography and then use a dslr and you know and then you use a smartphone for sure a dslr takes better photos and better videos than a smartphone camera because the size of the sensor if you see is you it's not even comparable so dslr does takes better photo but the question that we are asking here is for whom and i stand by this as a creator my smartphone is much more versatile and lets me create and shoot content much more which i won't even think about doing on a dslr i would say pick up your smartphones make content do it for over an year and then get a dslr or mirrorless because then you have to learn to use the dslr and not to offend anyone If you're thinking to buy a DSLR or mirrorless, go ahead, get it. You will, of course, learn about it. But this was a fun video, and it took almost three to five days to shoot this entire thing. And if you love this content, subscribe to Stay Wiser, like the video. See you pretty soon.